at this time we're gonna we're gonna do a little something different. Mark's got something cool planned for us. Yeah, so y'all y'all can have a seat. Have a seat. Yep. You help it me. seems like we're a little disjointed this morning, and we probably are. Um, you can just slide that back just a hair. Okay. I, okay. Hold on. Or a couple of hairs. <laughs> So it's the day after Christmas. Everybody okay? Still on a sugar high? I don't eat much sugar, but during Christmas I make up for the whole year in about two days. So I'm on a sugar high this morning. Uh, so I do want to say this about, uh, William, will you just cut me down a hair? It seems like maybe it's just me, but I seem like I'm a little loud. Um, Next Sunday, we're starting a brand new series. It's going to be a really special, special Sunday. We have a lot going on next Sunday, and I hope if people are watching at home that you'll be here as well. Um, we have four announcements to make next Sunday, uh, appointments of staff joining the church, um, and we have an elder and deacon ordination next Sunday. Yeah, and I'm not telling you who it is. You probably already know. It'll probably be the worst kept secret, but uh, we've got some elders and deacons coming on board. And we're starting a brand new sermon series on the Holy Spirit next Sunday that will run for several weeks. So I want you guys to be here. Today is our family service. Uh, if you brought your kids and tried to take them upstairs, you know there was a guard at the door and they wouldn't let you go through. The last Sunday of each month, we have family service. Parents bring their kids in here. And uh, we just worship together. But I have a special favor to ask of your kids. I want them to come up here and sit with me. And I want to talk to them. All the kids, um, I want them to come up here and, and talk to me. And I'm not scary. So I'm not scary at all. So adios. Don't say adios. Adios. Okay. Is this all we got? No. Oh, come on. Don't be scared. He's a little scary, but that's what he's saying about me. Oh, yeah? He's a little scary. Not, not, not him, me. All right. So I, I, want you guys, I want you guys to talk to me, okay? You kids, you guys. I need you guys to talk to me this morning. Okay, so I want to know what you got for Christmas. Did anybody get anything for Christmas? What did you get? Anime Land. Anime Land? What is that? Anime Lamp. Anime Lamp. Oh, so you like anime stuff. Okay. And a what? Really? Really? Yeah? So what is... It's just a regular lamp? Is that what it is? It's not a, like a... Oh. You're my man right there. Some Star Wars stuff. Yeah. So what else? What else? Y'all tell me what you got. I got something on TikTok where you can, there's a remote control that I do not connect with. But I like using it. Oh, that's pretty cool. But you need the remote for that. No? Oh. And a control. Really? Now that's pretty cool. Man. What else did y'all get? How about some over here? What'd you get, Paisley? A Nerf gun. A Nerf gun. Awesome. <laughs> what kind of Nerf gun? How many, what does it shoot? Like little darts or something? How many darts does it shoot? Yeah? Isaac, what'd you get? Lots of toys. And a tooth? You got a to tooth for Christmas? Awesome. 
That's awesome. All right, I want to hear some more stuff. Elmo? Did you get Elmo? Really? Like a real Elmo? A stuffed animal Elmo. Okay. What else? What did y'all get? A popcorn maker. Awesome. Like what kind of popcorn maker? Is it like a hot air popcorn maker? Have you already used it? How many times have you used it? Once. All right, what else? What what else did you get, Paisley? A waffle maker. Did you make waffles already? Awesome. Did you bring us honey bun waffles? Man, that sounds really good. All right, what else? What'd you get? You want to tell us? Just tell me. Nobody's listening. Okay, gaming chair. What kind of gaming system do you have? Oh, okay. PC stuff. Gotcha. Awesome. What else? Is that it? Did y'all get anything else? Yeah, I got a lot. More. We got candy. Candy? <laughs> oh, cool. Like a whole like pack of backpacks full of candy. Wow. Okay, so I have another question. When you got what when you got your favorite thing, how did you react? What were you, like, what did you do? I want to know what you did. Did you got, like, yell and scream? Did you jump up and down? Anything? No? You knew? Oh, well, that, yeah, kind of takes the surprise away. You did, too? Yeah. All right, Paisley, what did you do when you got your gifts? Did you? How did you act? Like, like she usually does? No, you're not acting crazy now. Did you get really excited? Did you yell and scream? Did you jump up and down? Okay, you didn't jump up and down. I want to know how you felt at the, about the person that gave you the gift. Were you really happy with them? I didn't know she would get me the gift. I kept cheering it up. Forty dollars? Well, were you excited? Were y'all excited at all? A hundred dollars? Can I borrow some money? No. Dude, my friend got like two hundred and fifty dollars. I want to know what y'all did for the person that gave you the gift. Did you go hug them? You made them popcorn. That's a pretty cool thing to do. They already got the money. But did you did you go up and tell them thank you, or did you hug them, or anything like that? You gave them a. Okay, did you go hug your mom and dad when you got your gifts? Tell them thank you. You just acted crazy? Isaac, I bet you gave big hugs, didn't you, buddy? All right, I want to have another, qu- I have another question for you. Are you still as excited today about the present that you got yesterday? One day later, are you still as excited? You are? Say that again, Paisley. Are you still as excited about your Nerf gun today as you were yesterday? Okay, let me ask you another question. Did, do any of you remember your favorite gift from last year? Last Christmas. You do? What was it? Alienware PC. Okay, Isaac's going crazy here. All right, anybody else? You remember what you got last year? Your favorite thing from last year? What was your favorite thing from last year? A rope swing. A rope swing. Pretty good. My daggum dog tore it up. Your daggum dog tore it up. (laughs) Do you remember your favorite thing from last year? No? No? Do you? No, no, I'm asking you, no cheating with the parents. You got a hoverboard or something. Is that right? 
hoverboard? Okay. Okay, so y'all don't, y'all may not realize this, but parents and older people are a little bit weird. Did y'all know that? Sometimes. Yeah, we, we all know that. We all know that. So, I didn't know that, but thank you for telling me. Do you all know that in the Bible, there was a guy named David, and he was a king, and he wrote songs that were called Psalms, and in one of the Psalms, he was being chased by people that didn't like him, and they wanted to kill him. In Psalm 51, he prayed to God, and he said, Restore to me the joy of my salvation. In other words, what David was saying is, I was so excited about having salvation, but it's been a long time, and I need that joy to be restored. Kind of like when you guys got a gift, and over time... It's not as important to you. You know, you, maybe you don't remember it or you don't play with it as much. But David said, I want you to restore the joy of my salvation. And in the very last book of the Bible, if you all read the Bible, the very last book of the Bible is called Revelation. And in the second chapter of Revelation, Jesus says this to church people. He says, I have one thing against you. You have forgotten your first love. In other words, Jesus is saying to them, you used to love me a lot more than you do now. You don't love me as much as you used to. And I want you to go back to doing the things you used to do that reminds you of the love that you had for me and that I had for you. You can. I still have that one toy I got since I was like five or six. I still. You still? Yeah, that's good. still love it. Good. That's great. So that's the point. That's the point of it's not about the Christmas stuff, but the love that you have for Jesus should be the same tomorrow as it is today. And in a minute, we're going to do something special. We're going to take communion, and you may have not heard that before, or you may have heard it called the Lord's Supper or the Last Supper. It was actually the last supper that Jesus took with his best friends. And I want to, I want to give you guys something to hang on to. I want you all to take a piece of bread when you go back to your seat in just a minute. But when, G, when this guy named Paul wrote a book in the Bible in 1 Corinthians, he talked about when you take this Lord's Supper, you need to remember what Jesus did for you, that he died for us and he paid for our sins so that we could be forgiven. So when you guys take a piece of this bread, it represents Jesus' body. You can eat it. That what, You can eat it now or you can save it. You can do whatever you want. But I want you to look at it for a minute and I want you to remember Jesus' body being beaten and how his, he was tortured and he He paid for our sin, all of our sin, so that we could be forgiven. I don't want you guys to ever forget what Jesus has done for you. Yeah, they didn't really know what they were doing at the time, but I think later they figured it out. All right, well, thank you guys for telling me what you got for Christmas. I've enjoyed hanging out with you guys. So I want you guys to come over here and grab a piece of bread. You can go back to your seat with your parents, grandparents, whatever. Y'all get your own piece of bread. Just get your own. Andrew, you want a piece? Here you go, sweetie. All right, now y'all just remember what Jesus did for you guys. Would y'all like give them a little bit of a hand? It's, it's hard for them to come up, up here and hang out with a, with a scary guy. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the Apostle Paul wrote this, The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. So 
A man ought to examine himself before he eats of the bread and drinks of the cup. Lord, this is your word, and it's still relevant to us today. Father, I pray that in a way that only you can do it, you will restore the joy of our salvation this morning. That we would be reminded of what you did for us on that cross. We love you so much, Lord. Don't let us draw cold and dry just because we are so blessed that we, we forget how awesome you truly are. God, that you would allow us to have our eyes open this morning to the love that you have for us and that we would reciprocate that love, that we would love you back just as much as we did on the first day that we met you. Lord, for those maybe that don't know you this morning that haven't turned to you, God, I pray that today would be the day that they're awakened and see the love that you have for us, that you, the God of all creation, would come down, become our sin so that we could be free and not pay the penalty of our sin. You are an awesome Father, and we love you so much. I pray that you bless these elements as it represents your body that was ripped and torn apart for our sake and the juice that represents your blood that was poured out for the forgiveness of our sins. God, that we would honor you with it, that you would move on us this morning in such a way that we would be more surrendered to you today than we were, than we walked in this morning. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to have one station in the middle. There will be another station over here if you'd like to serve yourself. But everyone is invited to come and share in communion.
We are blessed beyond measure. We thank you, Lord, for this time to remember what you did for us. Now, Lord, I pray that that same psalm that David wrote in that maybe in a cave somewhere hiding, that you would restore to us the joy of our salvation, that we would remember the lengths you went to to set us free. And God, your word clearly says that if, we, if the sun sets us free, that we are free indeed. And so, Lord, I pray that we would honor and worship you, Father, with joy like we've never had before. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. I want to invite you to stand, and we're going to worship this morning. And we're going to worship with joy this morning. Amen? All right, help me out this morning. Guys, we're going to mulligan that one. We're going to do it again. <laughs> Try that again. Praise the Lord. Sorry about that. Oh. What's church without technical difficulties, huh? Thank you for putting a smile on our faces. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. For real this time. Oh. Okay. It's wanting to cut out. There we go, there we go. Okay. Now are you ready? That was a test. This is the real one. Come on. We worship, we worship. We worship the God who was. We worship the God who is. We worship the God who evermore will be. He opened the prison doors. He parted the raging sea. My God, He holds a victory. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out of your praise, there's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. We won't be quiet. We shout out of your praise. Oh, oh, oh. Shout out of your praise. Yeah. We sing to the God who heals. We sing to the God who saves. We sing to the God who always makes a way. Cause he hung upon that cross and he rose up from the grave. My God, still rolling stones away. There's joy. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out in your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. We won't be quiet. We shout out in your praise. Sing us together. Oh, we were the beggars. Now we're royalty. We were the prisoners. Now we're running free. Except redeemed by His grace, let the joy of this Lord sing praise. We were the beggars, now 
Circumstances may be awful. You may not be as happy, but you can always have the joy of the Lord. His mercies are new every single day, even the day after Christmas. Amen. Lord, we thank you for an awesome day together. Most, the thing that made it the most awesome is that you were willing to let us be in your presence this morning. We don't have any rights. We don't deserve anything. But Lord, you give us grace and let us be in your presence. And not only that, you love us more and more every day. It's amazing to think, God, how much we mess up and you still love us. Thank you, Father. Praise you in this place today, God. Lord, we love you and praise you. I thank you, God, that you've allowed us to be together. I know Christmas is a representation of the day you were born, but ultimately you came on this earth to die, to suffer, to pay for the penalty of our sin. Our sin put you on that cross, Lord. Not anybody else. We did it. Our sin nailed you to that cross, but Lord, you did it willingly because you love us. Don't let us ever forget that, God. Don't let us ever take for granted, God, the love that you have for us. And now, Lord, you're going to send us out of here. For some, you're going to send us to be with family. You're going to send us to go to work, possibly, or just go home and relax. You may send us to a grocery store or a restaurant. Wherever you send us, God, let us realize that we are your ambassadors. We are your representation on this earth. We are your hands and your feet, and our mouth will sing your praise. Let us do it wherever we go today. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody said... Amen. Amen. Let's give God one more praise in this place, y'all. He's so good. All right, don't forget, this week, no Wednesday, but the students are leaving for Extreme on Thursday morning. If you have a student going to Extreme, have them here on time. And I pray, I hope that you guys will pray for them this week, that God will do a mighty work in them. And we'll see you next Sunday. Love you guys. pre-service loop. Tell me